Hey, so, um, I'm doing another video, um, because I went to the new cardiologist on Thursday, Thursday, yes, <sighs> um, and it was pretty non-eventful, um, he said it was okay for me to be taking Sotolol. He's like, yeah, it's not used that much anymore, but um, it's not obsolete. So he saw no problem with me continuing with that. Um, and I did finally find out the name of what I have, which I guess is a good thing. So I have what's called P, um, sorry, V, P, B, or he said sometimes it can go as V, P, C. And so basically what that stands for is, um, with the B, it's ventricular premature beats, which is essentially meaning extra heartbeat, or, um, ventricular premature contractions. Basically the same thing. Um, now there was another thing that he mentioned and they call it VT. That's something else that I also had or have, which he says would explain why they wanted to try that ablation that was not successful. Now VT, I'm, I can't remember what he said it stands for. It's ventricular something. Um, I might have to try looking, looking it up. Um, but he said, like, that complicates things a little bit more. Like, he said that they'd rather me just have the VPB as opposed to VPP, VPB plus VT. Um, <clears throat> but he said, since I've had it for eight years and nothing has happened, like, I haven't fainted, I haven't blacked out or anything like that from it, then he says that that puts me in the low risk category and that it's pretty much benign. Um, I think the whole point was that my, my, my nephrologist was wondering if this heart condition was lupus related because, you know, it dates back to 2002, which was probably my first lupus flare, but I wasn't diagnosed then. But he didn't say anything about... Oh, my hand is really shaking right now. Whoa. Okay. Um, gotta switch hands. So, he he didn't say anything about him thinking it's lupus related. So, I don't know. But, basically, he wants to see me back in a year. And before I see him... I have to have an MRI of my heart because I haven't had one since 2003. And I also have to get the 48 hour Holter monitor. I thought they were going to hook me up to the 48 hour Holter monitor yesterday and was not looking forward to that because 48 hours with that thing on you, like it itches like crazy for me. Like the tape that they put on, it itches me. And then if they don't put the tape on, then the things fall off, and ugh, it's such a pain. But um, I won't have to worry about that for another year, thankfully. Um, and that's that's pretty much all. Um, he, the cardiologist's office was actually right next to my nephrologist's office. So while I was sitting in the hallway, my kidney doctor... Dr. Michelle walked by and saw me and she's like, what are you doing here? <clears throat> and, I, and I said, well, I'm, I'm finally seeing the cardiologist. And she's like, oh, good, good. So um, that was kind of fun. Um, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I have to call my rheumatologist on Monday because she had told me to call about a week after I saw her last to see what the blood test results were um, in case she forgot to check them. Um, so I have to call her. It's been more than a week now, so I have to call her on Monday. Um, 
And I guess that's pretty much it. I've applied for my unemployment insurance. So just waiting to hear about that. And I have been applying to a couple of part-time nanny jobs, although I haven't heard a thing back from any of them. Um, so maybe right now God is just saying take it easy or something. I don't know. But it's just odd. Like, no one's responded to anything. And, like, my resume is really good. Like, I have tons of experience. So it's really odd that people aren't responding to me. Because <clears throat> a lot of these ones that I've been going for are, like, three to four hours a couple times a week. And I figured that would be, you know, helpful. <laughs> Um, but at least it won't be too much of a strain on me and I can still work around doctor's appointments and not have to take time off work just for the time being. But I don't know. We'll see. So I am going to go because I have to try and figure out if I'm going to start rooting this head or not or if I should just start painting my next kit. <laughs> um, and uh, I was going to do laundry, but the guy upstairs he did a load of laundry earlier and he does this often he'll put the load of laundry in and go out and then the load of laundry is sitting in the washer right now so I can't do laundry <laughs> um so that sucks um so anyways I'm just gonna go and try and get some stuff done and I'm just trying to take it easy yesterday even though I was sitting most of the day painting I had a lot of leg and pain, knee pain, ankle pain, all my left leg by the end of the night. Luckily, it's a little bit better this morning, so I don't know. Anyways, I will sign off for now because there really isn't much new. Take care. Bye-bye.